There we go. There we go. We are live, Neil. Hi, good morning, everybody. Um, thanks for joining the art and design session. Um, my name's Neil Manning, so I'm the head of school uh, for the School of Art and Design. We've got half an hour and I'm going to give you a short presentation. There's quite a few slides, but it gives you a lot of information that I can then send to you afterwards. Um, and then we'll try and give a bit at the end for some question and answers. Claire is in the background, so she'll, if you've got any difficulties uh, or if I have any difficulties, she'll help us out. So what I'm going to do first is just to share my screen and I'm going to take you through this presentation. So first of all, um, so welcome. <clears throat> Who are we? We're the School of Art and Design uh, at Edinburgh College. We're a large school. We have um, over 700 students. Um, over 22 different courses, so there's lots of different options. The main thing is that we um, have lots of different uh, possibilities for you to join us. Um, I'm going to take you through um, what those are um, by showing you and taking you through our, 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 uh, our curriculum. OK, so first of all, we have um, two different types of courses. Some of them are further education and some of them are higher education um, and we work with two awarding bodies. So one of the awarding bodies is UAL, which is the University of the Arts London. So it's the very famous art school in London and we're um, one of the main um, deliverers of their qualifications across the UK. We were the first in Scotland to deliver their courses and we're the only place in Scotland where you can do the UAL Foundation Diploma um, which is that great course that allows you to build a portfolio by exploring and experimenting across a whole range of different areas of art and design to then apply for HNDs and degrees. You can see there's lots of different courses here um, on the right hand side. So there's level two diploma, level three diploma and then the level three foundation. And after those, you can see I've put the equivalences into Scottish um, terminology. So level two is like four national fives, level three diploma is like one and a half advanced hires and the level three foundation is actually equivalent to first year of a Scottish degree um, and both the level three and foundation diploma have UCAS points. So these are great courses if you're looking um, at really exploring um, a, a range of areas before you specialise and getting that portfolio for further study. You'll be aware of SQA um, and we also do a range of SQA diplomas. On the left hand side we have further education courses which are NCs, national certificates. These are one year courses um, and, and they're a range, uh, across a range of specialist areas. We also have um, evening classes and if you're interested in joining our uh, Wednesday evening live drawing class for schools there's my email. You can email me and you can join the class starting next week. On the right hand side, we have um, two year HMDs and these are like first year and second year at university. And you can see the different areas that we do. We do everything from 3D animation, um, contemporary art, textiles, which includes fashion. Um, and we're also working on um, bringing in next year a one year top up degree so after you've done a two year HND in one of our visual communication courses, you can stay with us and do one year and get a BA honours. So it just shows you the kind of range that we have um, across all the different levels. It does get a little bit maybe confusing and complicated because, you know, which one do you choose? And this curriculum map here shows you all the different levels and all the different pathways. So even though it's very complex, the main thing to remember is if you're applying to us, whatever level of course we get you onto, we will be able to help you on your journey towards an HND or a degree at a, at a university art college with that long term ambition of you becoming a working artist and designer. That's what we're about. So how do we help you to go to that point? Um, we 
well, look at your portfolio and consider what kind of course that you should uh, be the next best step on your journey. And I just want to um, highlight two of the courses, which is probably if you're in S5 or S6, what you might end up doing. There's the UAL Level 3 Foundation. There's up to 100 students, four groups, 12 lecturers. You have a guidance tutor who is your LDT, learning development tutor. Um, you work in our specialist studios. You get to do some life drawing and critical and contextual studies, which is to prove you, improve your level of English. Um, and that is the one that is equivalent to two advanced hires first year at university and allows you to go into second year um, of a four year degree. There's also the level three diploma. So it's a very similar title, but it's without the word foundation. It's very similar in terms of content. It's just pitched at a slightly lower level. Um, you still get the critical and contextual studies. Um, there are three to four groups. You still explore a range of um, options and specialist areas, but it's equivalent to one and a half advanced hires. And that is the course that allows you to go for first year um, at a Scottish four year degree. OK, the good thing about studying on one of our further education courses, both UAL and NC, is that they are bursary funded, so you can apply for um, student funding. Um, and so it doesn't eat into your university um, uh, SAS funding. If you are awarded uh, student funding on a UAL or an NC course, there's some real benefits. You get a free art pack, um, which is a whole range of materials that equip you for the course. Um, we give you materials throughout the course and, and, and we do that in an ethical and sustainable approach. We include gallery visits. <coughs> There may be additional costs if, in, in your final project if, you, if you're wanting to do um, something much more ambitious. And we also have, uh, uh, when things are back to normal, and we're hoping that that's what will be the case next year, we do study trips for both the UAL Level 3 and Foundation Diploma to London. Um, and that is an additional cost. Of course, <clears throat> one of the most important things if you're applying to art and design is where are you going to go? And that's one of our strengths. We are very keen that it's not just getting you onto the course, but it's then where are you going to go? So I've just listed here um, the kind of progression opportunities. Level three diploma, you could go to foundation <clears throat> or you could go to an HND or you might be able to go on to first year of a degree. So there's three options there. Um, and level three foundation, you can go on to any one of our eight specialist HNDs or into second year at a Scottish University. You have to check um, because, for example, Edinburgh College of Art may wish you to have other qualifications, but it also allows you to apply for first year of a three year degree down south. And a lot of our students might end up going to Central St Martins, London College of Fashion, University of the Arts Leeds, etc. So it's a really strong part of what we do. OK. A huge thing that we do on the course is following up on what I've just been talking about, which is enabling you to progress. So once you're on a course with us, we work with you on how to improve your skills to put into a portfolio to enable you to get there. So we have university talks, for example, Glasgow School of Art come and speak to our students. University of the Arts London come up um, and give you talks. And we help you with your UCAS applications, etc. OK, here's just a few examples from last year when our students were really struggling with working online and then in college and then back online. They still did really well. They got onto all of our HNDs, but these are just some of the degrees um, that our foundation students got into, and that's across the whole of the UK. So it should give you reassurance that if you're coming to us, You'll have an exciting time. We'll help you work out what your next steps are. And this is this is the kind of success that we get from our students. OK, so how do you apply? OK, our courses are now open for applications, so you can start to make your online application. Um, and that's the fairly easy bit, because all you need to do is to consider which course you would like to apply to. 
you only apply to one of them and then you submit your online application. Once we receive that, we will then send you the information about how to send us your portfolio. And it's different for each course because it's a different email address. Um, and then we will look at your portfolio. We'll read your personal statement and look at your application, look at your qualifications and we'll make a decision on what we think is the best course for you. So feel free to apply to one of our HNDs. You, you may be ready for that, but please do be aware that we may suggest and it is it is more common that this will happen that we will say, look, we think you should do the foundation diploma or a national certificate before specialist study. And, that, and that's the norm actually in studying in art and design. Once we've sent you an offer um, and you accept your place, um, we'll then invite you to an applicant session. And that's where you get to meet everyone who's going to be on your course, meet the staff, etc. Because um, of the last two years with COVID, we haven't done any face to face interviews or online interviews. We've just been basing it on your portfolio. We're discussing that over the next couple of weeks, but the likelihood is we, you won't be getting a one to one interview. You'll get an applicant session afterwards. But again, to reassure you on that, it's worked really well. Our students have really enjoyed being on our courses uh, uh, and are doing you know, um, really well. OK, so the digital portfolio. I'm not going to talk through all of these um, uh, slides because you can refer to them afterwards, but it, the digital portfolio is just a, um, a version of your practical work that is put then into um, a, a digital file. And it's the normal way now to apply to um, art and design courses across the whole of the UK. OK, as I say, we will send you the information about what you should include. But really what we're wanting is to see the work that you're doing, both um, your research, um, how you're exploring ideas and materials, as well as maybe finished um, uh, uh, artworks or outcomes We're, you know don't think it all has to be finished work it's we want to really think about what makes you tick what are you interested in so if you're applying for an hnd a specialist course for example like contemporary art we would be expecting you to be very focused on that subject um, the same as if you were applying for textiles or for illustration we would expect it to be focused on that Remember, once you've made your application, keep checking on your email, make sure you look in your junk folders because sometimes you, the, the information about how to submit your portfolio um, can get missed. OK, so the format of the portfolio, we suggest that you do it in a PowerPoint and then you can save it down as a PDF file because that reduces the size and we're going to show you how to do that. Um, you can make multiple images. So when we're talking about a page, so each one of these white oblongs you would imagine is a slide in your PowerPoint presentation and the blue parts are the images of your artwork or pictures of your uh, sketchbooks or research. So you can see you could have two, you could have three, you could have one or you could have multiple. OK, so in other words, when we talk about a page, we're talking about a slide. OK, but you could have multiple images on each page or slide. It's up to you. OK, as a rough guide, we would suggest if you're applying to one of our higher level courses like an HND or the foundation diploma, 10 to 15 slides. If you're applying to one of our NC or level two, uh, sorry, UAL level two or three, we would say five to 10. OK, it gives you a rough idea. Please uh, include scans of your qualifications at the end of your portfolio and also your personal statement. If you've used one for UCAS, you could tailor that or you could just write a short statement about why you've chosen this particular course. If you've got any moving imagery or anything like that, you can um, uh, include that in links. OK, so you could put a hyperlink in if you've hosted it. Um, or if you've got any difficulties sharing that kind of thing, you can just drop a, a message in your reply to the portfolio inbox. 
We give you the information about how to save uh, your PowerPoint down into a PDF. You basically just go to um, uh, file, then you go to export, create PDF, and then you click the create PDF. And we ask you to then save it with the title, with your name and the course that you've applied for. And all of this is available to you. And I'm going to send you that um, uh, at the end. OK. If you don't have a portfolio, please don't worry. We ask you to maybe do a set of drawings um, of just household objects that you have around the house, um, or around five drawings. And we've got courses that we could offer you if you're just starting out, OK? Uh, um, for example, our UAL Level 2 course. The applicant session afterwards, once we've made you an offer, we're hopefully going to be able to do that on campus because we're now returning. So that's where you'll be able to come in, see our studios, uh, meet the staff and other people that you're going to study with. You can answer any questions about the course um, and we'll also be able to um, discuss any summer projects, etc. Now, the submission deadlines, OK, um, the first round of uh, uh, we're going to look at the portfolios is the week beginning the 28th of March. So what we're saying is try and get your application in soon over the next couple of weeks. We will then send you the information on how to send us your portfolio. But you have got February going through March to then work on your portfolio to get it the best you can to then submit it before the 28th of March to be in the first round. Please don't worry. If, if you don't make that because we'll still have spaces on some of our courses and you can then just submit on a rolling basis after that. OK. I've just put at the end here some student stories so you can read these in more detail, but it just shows you some of the success from our own students uh, uh, voices rather than me saying it. So, for example, here this is one of our foundation students. She's now uh, successfully graduated uh, from the Glasgow School of Art. And she talks about the, the, the fact that, you know, studying in the School of Art and Design, uh, you know, is a creative and collaborative atmosphere. It's very much like art college. OK, um, one of our students here, um, I really like this bit, is where he talks about uh, the course was hard work, but I got so much out of it. And the show looks amazing because at the end of the year, all of our students, both HND and our UAL and NC students exhibit their work either in a city centre venue or in the college, and it's a great celebration. And again, it replicates that um, experience of being at art college. OK, there are more student stories here. This is some uh, imagery of a student um, that that's work that was done on our foundation course. And she is now studying on her HND illustration and then planning to go off and do a degree. And you can read more by clicking on that link when I send you the presentation. OK. But it talks about the kind of, I suppose, that ethos of it being a, a, a really exciting creative space that we have. OK, so I'm coming near the end now, but I suppose the thing is, if you're interested in art and design, um, we really welcome your application. I hope if you've applied through UCAS, you do you do really well. Um, but you need to think about the benefits of coming and studying with us. Please make an application early because places do uh, and can run out. But this is about being colleges about your not plan B, but it's part of your plan A of becoming um, an artist or designer in the future. And here's some of the benefits of coming to us. You'll benefit from uh, student funding and a free art pack. If you get into uh, one of our NC or UAL courses, we've got great links with uh, both industry and universities. Um, it gives you more options of applying to first, second and third year of degrees. And it gives you a real opportunity to take some time with fellow minded creatives um, to develop your own confidence, your own skills and work out what actual area of art and design it is that you really want to go on and pursue and, and study um, in, in, a, in a college adult environment. Now, I'm aware of time, so there's some links in here that you can go to um, and see our um, uh, students work at the end of year festival. Um, 
uh, and there's some more further on. I've put a link in here about uh, takes you to the page on how uh, where to apply to look at all the different courses. And there's some more bits here that you can flick to to um, pick up on um, looking at the students work to give you some, I suppose, some uh, encouragement and uh, um, inspiration on the kind of work that you could put in your portfolio. So you could look at those at the end. OK, now I'm aware of time. Claire, how have I done with time? I'm not sure whether she can hear me. I can hear you. We're, we're fine for time. We're, has anyone got any questions for us? And apologies if I'm echoing because there seems to be a little bit of an echo. I'll put one last call out for questions. I do have one in the chat already and I've got a couple for Neil. OK. OK. OK, I'll ask mine while everyone else is post posting their questions. Feel free to post any questions, folks. First question from me is a is one for Neil that is, what's your favourite thing about Edinburgh College? What's my favourite thing? I think uh, I'm delighted because for two years we've, um, because of COVID, we've not been able to exhibit our student work. And this year we are. So we're um, the Fruit Market Gallery, which is up by the side of the Waverley Station in Edinburgh. Um, we've just booked that, so our HND students are going to take over the whole of the Fruit Market Gallery. It's an internationally renowned um, uh, art space, and we're going to be exhibiting our student work there and also in college as well. And I love it at the end of the year because it's like going to, it's the same as like going to Glasgow School of Art or Central St Martin's, their degree show, and it's a big celebration. And industry's there, mums and dads are there, friends and family. And that's what it's all about, coming to study art and design. It's about becoming an artist or a designer and showing your work, being creative. Thank you very much, Neil. One more question so <laughs> far is, is this course timetable different from school? Yeah, um, I think the main difference is at school, you might have different subjects um, at, at, at different days and different times. So your whole timetable will be just art and design and quite often on most of the courses instead of maybe on Monday morning you do one subject and then on Thursday afternoon you do another subject it's whatever your timetable is um, depending on the course it could be three to three and a half four days a week um, you're in the studios and you're working on projects so it's like you're set projects then you're just working over the week um, for maybe two or three weeks on a project all together. So that, that's one of the major differences. Um, there are bits where you go to do your critical studies, um, but it's all focused on art and design. I think that's the major difference. Thank you very much. OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one last call for questions. If anyone's just before we wrap up today, because Neil needs to go quite soon as well. OK. I've got one more for you, Neil. Can you tell us a bit more about how you work with industry and the trips that some of your students go on and that type of thing, a bit more about work experience? So uh, I'll talk about the trips. So uh, currently our students, uh, some of our students are involved in a European project that we got signed before we left the EU. And so we're working with a college in the Netherlands, Northern Netherlands and also Slovenia. Um, and we're going to be traveling over to Slovenia in March, taking a couple of students there and they're working on this collaborative project. And we also work with students in Berlin um, and we also work with students uh, and a college in northern Italy in Trento. So there's lots of uh, uh, collaboration there. We do trips to uh, uh, London, as I say. Our links with industry, for example, on our graphics courses, um, they get a business mentor. So designers come in and work with the students. We have an employability day for the whole of the School of Art and Design uh, and the Creative Industries faculty. So we have um, artists, designers, musicians, um, filmmakers, and you could go to any of these and you and it's over one day and you learn how to get a job, what it's like to work in the industry. We do live projects all the time. Um, so you're working with a real client 
uh, depending on the course. Our foundation students are just uh, going to be involved in a postcard um, charity auction where they're going to make postcards and raise money. And this year we're working for a charity, Scottish based charity uh, that works in Zambia but to do with art therapy. So we're supporting through art an art therapy charity working with people in Zambia to, to, to improve their lives. So there's a whole, it's, it's a whole range of stuff like that it happens all the time. So you're not you're not working on hypothetical things. Um, there's another brilliant one that the level three diploma students do where they work with a up and coming band. Um, a Radio six presenter Vic Galloway hosts it and they design an album cover, but it's for a real band. They they have a question and answer thing with the real band. We then have a gig in, in the city centre, so uh, in the mash house. Um, and the band pick the, the the artwork that is they are then going to use as the album sleeve for their for their band and it gets released. So there's things like that happen on all the courses at all levels. It's really exciting. It's very dynamic. Thanks, Neil. I've got one more question that's just popped up that I really want to squeeze in because it's a great one. That is the HND computer arts art course shows three days at college. Do you still get access to work on coursework at college on the other two days? Yeah, some, sometimes we can do that. Um, so we try and put time aside where students can come in and do what's called self-directed uh, study in the studios. Now, obviously, for the last two years we've been in and then out and a lot online, uh, a lot more online than maybe when you were at school. But we are returning, uh, um, which is great news to on campus delivery. So we're really looking at that about how we use our studios. But yes, so that we are working on trying to give as much access now we've got back as we possibly can. We also have, we also have something where it's, it's, it's a piece of software where students can actually even in the evening or at the weekend or in the holidays can remotely go in and use the powerful Macs and the software to work on their work when the college is actually shot. So that's an improvement that we've put in Excellent. because of the COVID thing. Excellent. We're going to wrap up there. So thank you very much for everyone for coming today. Neil, thank you for your time. Any other questions, our email addresses are on our website and you can apply for our courses on our website, which is edinburghcollegeacuk forward slash courses. If you need anything else, please get in touch and we'll get you in touch with Neil. Thank you.